Hi, I'm Don from Don Does Stuff. And today we're gonna to check out the OBD codes on this 2012 Honda Pilot. There's all sorts of, <laughs> every light in the book is showing on the, on the screen of this car. There's an engine light, TPMS, sometimes the oil light pops up. So we're gonna check the diagnostics and show you how easy that is to do with the right tool. So I'm lucky enough to have an Autel, what's it called, a TS601. Um, they call it a Maxi TPMS because it's mainly used for your uh, tire pressure monitoring systems. But it's also good for reading and resetting your OBD codes. OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostic Codes. And it reads the OBD version 2 which I guess is the, the latest. Very simple to use. Uh, this is not a sponsored uh, video in any respect. I happen to have this for another vehicle, and uh, so it's handy. Um, this particular one allows you to reset your TPMS codes. There are other ones that are less expensive that allow you to just read codes and things like that. So check the specs for any uh, device that you might want to pick up. So what's in there, aside from, you know, charging cable and instructions and stuff like that. It's basically this unit, which is the brains of the outfit, and a cable that connects from the device with this, this end to your OBD connector, which is under the dash. So the OBD connector is this thing under here. It's white, it's under the dash on the uh, driver's side. Always very inconvenient to get to, but there it is. Um, the key thing is when you're connecting the your reader to it make sure your car is completely turned off and then when you have it connected turn it on to the at least the accessory position you can be e either in the accessory position or the engine actually started but it's usually easier just as easy to do it with the accessory position alrighty let's connect up and we'll, off we'll go all right so we're connected up we select the OBD screen like that. It does a little bit of jumping around to link to the vehicle. Don't be alarmed, it does take a few seconds. So it has found one code. We hit OK. Now it shows the number of control modules on the vehicle. In this case there are two. We select the first one because it, it doesn't tell you what code, where the code is coming from. It says read the codes, no codes found on this module. So we go back to the module selector. We select the second module and hopefully it'll find it on this one. Otherwise something weird's going on. Stored codes, there we go. We have a code. So it's a P0430 catalyst system efficiency below threshold, bank two. All right, so it's related to the emission control system. Let's take a quick screenshot of that with the phone and uh, and then we're going to reset it and see if it comes back. So I'm also going to hit save here. I think that saves it on this machine. All right, so, so we've saved it now. I've taken my screenshot. I'm going to go back. I'm going to say erase codes. Erase trouble codes, are you sure? And I'm gonna say yes. Erase done, press any key to continue. And now we should be good to go. So I'll disconnect the system now and we'll um, start the car up fully and see if the codes have gone away. Now, I'm not suggesting, by the way, that you just deal with your problem by clearing the codes but at least that removes the, the thing off of your dash. I do recommend that you have a mechanic check into whatever the problem was, report the exact code that you found, and that will help them to uh, di better, more quickly diagnose your problem and move on from there. Anyway, hope this video helped you at least overcome some fear of checking those codes and, and that kind of stuff. All right, talk to you later.